Let's go to Long Paban. Come with me to see what domestic air travel is like in Laos and get some first impressions of the former capital. Because we can't check in yet. Let's see what they get to do in the departure area while we wait for a uh, check in. They have the usual coffee shops and snack markets and a couple of souvenir shops. Not sure how I feel about this as a keychain. After some time and an exhausting security queue, you end up here in this cramped seven gate departure lounge. This is the domestic terminal of Vientiane's Wadi International Airport and there's just hardly anything to do. The international terminals looks like they've got all the good restaurants they've been advertising because here we got a coffee shop and a mini mart and that's about it. Then you come back down and get through a very primitive security line where they first make you take everything off and then they do the little metal detection and then they go through your bags. They don't have the x-ray conveyor belt screening system here so it will take you quite some time to get through. Not the most efficient way to run an airport but it's the way they do it here so just know that that's something you're gonna have to prepare for if you're going through the domestic area of um, Wadi Tawan. Wadi Tawan. Wadi International Airport in Vientiane. This is my first time taking Lao Airlines. Curious to see how they fare. That's much room there is between my head and the ceiling. This is a pretty tiny plane. But it does feel newish and clean in here at least. and they serve refreshments for this one hour flight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bokoban Airport. When your flight temperature is 3150 kilometers for you. All right, got things mostly settled up for now. Let's go walking around Long Paban and look for a restaurant to go have some breakfast lunch because I had that tiny little sandwich at the airport and nothing else to eat today. I'm quite a little hungry. This has much more of a rural kind of community vibe than Vientiane obviously does. I think I already like Long Prabang best. My hotel recommended a place for an authentic Laotian experience, and it was authentic to the point that nobody spoke English. I was handed a menu and I pointed to my choice, Morning Glory Pole. I get a front row seat if I'm making Morning Glory Pole. Gosh, she must have made this a million times. She doesn't even need to measure like I do. This is the Morning Glory Pole with pork points. So we've got Obviously pork and glass noodles and all sorts of vegetables. This smells so good too. And this is delicious. I can't quite put my finger on it. There's something in here that makes this very savory, not sweet. It's not pepper. When it's not a flavor I recognize, but it's delicious. Same thing with this here. This has a little something extra. That amazing feast costs an entire dollar 92. And I included that big plate of food as well as uh, some water and a little side of soup there. It's one of the great things about travel. You can get exposed to all these different flavors and foods and experiences that you never knew existed. Happy to see that the hot spital is nearby. Aren't you adorable? I ended up getting a taxi into the main part of town to get a lay of the land and do some exploring. It smells like herbs cooking here. It smells so good. There's a ton to see on the streets. You could dedicate a solid afternoon or perhaps a day to just enjoy the downtown area. Beautiful vintage car in front of that place. Wow. Excuse me, a little bit of Cuba vibes.
I happened upon a restaurant that made a very specific appetizer that I knew I wanted to try. Chicken stuffed lemongrass. I have waited since before COVID to be able to have this. You use your hands to get them wet. And then you open this up to like a cage inside and dip it in this peanut sauce here. Aromatics are just as I expected it to be. Mm. The lime and the lemongrass that are in here is just fantastic, and the peanut sauce complements this amazingly well. Thanks for joining me on this adventure, and I'll see you in the next one.